Yes, you are. Um, Can you believe that? A hundred thousand years? Man, if it rains three, three days in a row, I'm like, man, it's been raining a long time. hundred thousand years? That's a long time. So what is happening is, yeah, every single day. So what happened was, as the earth was cooling, it was releasing these gases. And among the gases was this stuff called hydrogen and this other kind of gas called oxygen. And when they get together, you probably heard of something called H2O. Guess what? It was making water in the sky when these gases came together, and then it rained. So number two is, it rained for 100,000 years. What happened next? The land and oceans formed is number three. So um, you think that when it rained all that, that that's all fresh water. But what happened was well, um, a lot of minerals came out of the, the, uh, the rocks, and it, it became very salty. So it started off very salty. Mm -hmm. um, I think number four is in bacteria. What do you guys think? Do you think bacteria came after the oceans formed? Yeah. Yes. Get, I see a lot of agreement signals. Yeah. Bacteria are so tiny, as you probably know, you have to use a microscope to see them. They're very simple life forms. Uh huh. Um, you say that plants grow in oceans after the bacteria? What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. So that would be number five, right? Four. Yeah, five. Five. We're on number five, five I think. It's on five. Yeah. yeah. One is very hot earth. Two is rain for 100,000 years. <laughs> Three is land and oceans form. Four is bacteria form. Five is plants grow in oceans, is what we said. Now this very next one, it kind of even confused me, so be careful, this is a tricky one. What do you think is next? Age of fish. He says the age of fish. You know what? I thought the same thing. Oh wait, no, it's when, uh, it's, uh, when from land. Yeah, if you look at my poster right here, if you look at the poster, guys, you will see that there are, the age of fish is really right here where we start seeing fish that really look a little bit more like we have fish today. There was things living in the ocean long before that. In fact, some of the oldest creatures were these here, jellyfish. Oh yeah, jellyfish. But look right here, do you see right here? Probably right where the land meets the water, you were starting to have little plants that were just starting to stick out, kind of things that looked like kind of weeds that grew out of the water. And they were the very first things to come out onto the land before any plants before any animals came out on land. So number six is plants grow on land? Plants grow on land was number six, yes. And then number seven is? Everybody? The age of fish. The age of fish, which is a little bit more fancy. And then we started having a lot more different kinds of life forms over the next few millions of years. And finally, we have, everybody? First land animals. First land animals. And do you know it took a long time, millions and millions and millions and millions of years, billions of years before humans started coming around. This picture, is, this poster is kind of old fashioned. It's got like this caveman guy. Like, it doesn't really show that people, most scientists think that people came from, developed from, um, yeah, but basically that we had kind of, yeah, we had a different kind of body before and we changed over time and as we started using our brains more, we started standing up more. Some people don't believe this. Some people, most most scientists, this is most people, most scientists have this kind of thinking. So, yeah. Do you have proof that uh, people uh, live on the That people were um, had different bodies before. People had well, we had kind of still human-like bodies, but you know when we were uh, before humans evolved, we were probably around on our all fours more, like, like you know, something like a baboon would run around on all fours. And there's different ideas about why people think that we started standing up. Some people say, well, the early humans, they needed to have their hands free so they could use tools, like throw spears and stuff. Some people say we need to be able to look up and look around for, for uh, predators that might be attacking us. So, hard to say. Mm -hmm. Um, in Natural Geographic, in one of their magazines, uh -huh. they found um, a cave. Um, it was six inches at the smallest to crawl through. Wow. And they found um, developing um, um, humans because, like, they had, uh, like, their thumb or whatever was, like, really, was, oh, I just forgot. <laughs> That's a hard one. You know, for a, some, lots of creatures, they don't have a thumb. Lots of um, ape-like creatures don't have much of a thumb, but you know, if you have a thumb, you can grasp things in a different 
way. You can hold on to things much better. Yes.